Good morning, youth. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your midweek encouragement, and we're going to jump right in. We're in Proverbs chapter 14, and we're going to be starting in verse 16 today. Uh, and today is another one of those wisdom grab bags where, where the teacher and the, and the Proverbs are just kind of tossing all sorts of, of good pieces of wisdom at us for us to just kind of have in our brain to build this knowledge of, of godly wisdom. So Proverbs 14, starting in verse 16, it says, <clears throat> The one who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil. But a fool is reckless and careless. A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow down before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbor, but the rich has many friends. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. Do they not go astray who devise evil? Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. The crown of the wise is their wealth, but the folly of fools brings more folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but one who breathes out lies is deceitful. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence, and his children will have a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may turn away from the snares of death. <clears throat> so, as I noted, this is one of those wisdom grab bags, and there's all sorts of, of, of things that you could focus in on here, and there's lots of little tidbits. And so, I, I'm just going to draw a handful of conclusions from this, and, and as you read it, you might even say, well, those are not the things that popped out for me. That's fine. Um, that's part of what's beautiful about the, the Bible and wisdom literature, specifically in Proverbs, is that we come back to it over and over, and every time we do, something else stands out. And so, um, the first here is that wise actions and foolishness have a lot of consequences on our lives. Um, and, and this is a reminder, you know, all, in all these things, it talks about like the consequences and what someone reaps for the things they do. And, and this idea is a very good reminder that our lives are not a game. Now, it's okay to have fun and it's okay to do things as long as they are within the, the, the guidelines and boundaries of what is good. But our lives are not a game. And, and, and so often we treat it as like, well, if I... If I mess up or if I do this awful thing, it is fine. In the long run, it's not really going to matter. Proverbs challenges us to say, maybe treat those things as if they do matter. That they will matter in the long run. Um, the second here is how we live, and we've said this before, how we live affects the people around us and it, it will actively change our interactions with them. If we are despising our neighbor... They're, they're not going to want to be around us and they're not going to want to be our neighbor. You know, it, it, a lot of these have a, have a notion of like two people interacting with each other and the dynamic between them. The way we live, the way we practice our, the godly wisdom that we have access to is going to have a direct impact on our relationships and how we interact with people. Third... Uh, it is this notion that, that talk is cheap and it never pays the bills. Um, it says, in all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. The idea here literally is the person who always seems to have the solution or always seems to know what the thing is wrong, but they never want to put into practice making it better. Talk's cheap. And it rarely pays the bills. Um, and last year, the fear of the Lord gives is, is two things. It gives us strong confidence. And it is this thing that produces this abundance of life in us. The fear of the Lord's, Lord gives us strong confidence. We can take confidence in our God. And, and that confidence, it actually can be communicated and sensed and experienced by the next generation that we are leading. Now, that doesn't mean that they instantly get into wisdom just because we are seeking it. Rather, 
they will understand how value it is when they see the people that are in leadership and that lead them seeking it out. It produces abundance of life and it leads us away from death. The fear of the Lord leads us away from death. And so whether these are the, the pieces of this wisdom grab bag that stood out to you or maybe there's others, I would challenge you, whichever it is in here, um, to, to take that this week, maybe write it down, maybe write it on the inside of your hand, the whole verse out. And be that thing that, you know, you, okay, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to try to remind myself of it because when we look at scripture and we talk about the people of the Bible, it's what they had to do. They were constantly reminding themselves of this. And so I would encourage you to practice one of these things this week. Look for a way to practice this wisdom. And I, yeah, and I hope that goes well for you. Um, there's a lot in here. So I will leave you guys with that. I love you guys. We will see you Sunday. Take care and have a good rest of your week. Bye.